It may not look like a jail from the outside, but I guess that's kind of a good thing. So you're leaving me for good, huh, sir? Yeah, I'm leaving you. Leaving me for good. Okay. I, I wouldn't say for good. Yeah, I'm First Lieutenant uh, Brandon Burley. I've uh, been with the Sheriff's Department about 15 years, and I'm the Assistant Division Commander here in Greensboro Jail Central. So Guilford County is a unique uh, county in, in the state of North Carolina. We're the only county with two uh, court systems. So we have a court system here in Greensboro, and, and then we have a court system in High Point. You know, the struggle is real across the, across the country, uh, especially here in North Carolina, um, with, with staffing being the way it is. We've had a significant drop off in staffing levels over the last couple of years. I've been here about a year and a half. The staffing shortages started pretty much as soon as I got here. So all I've known is just mandatory overtime. The beginning of my two years, we weren't where we needed to be staffing wise, but it just, became worse once the pandemic started. Being short staffed affects, affects us as just like regular pod detention officers, is that we, we have to cover like, not just our pod, but we have to cover up to like two to three other ones also at the same time. And then something happens because I've missed my round. Is it really my fault? It can be challenging at times, stressful, I mean, but we make ways, we get through it, we try to work together, we stick through it. And just do the best I can because complaining about it is not gonna make it any better. You know, hopefully one day we'll get back to that point. Right now we're just doing the best we can and it's working. Currently when I came on uh, probably 15 years ago, we were using a tracking system that wasn't real time. You had to download the system on a monthly basis uh, to catch the shifts to try to see where your compliance rating was. It was just little metal things on the wall that we had to like slam into the wall basically. It made it extremely difficult to kind of know where you were with, within your tracking or your inmate security rounds. If the system went out for some reason, we'd have no way of knowing that you did your round. So it's almost like you're immediately taking the blame whether you did your round or not. There was no alert to go off. There was no way of me remembering that I had to do this round even during hectic situations. So if you didn't write it down or if you had too much going on, you forgot to write it down when you did it, you just didn't really know when the next one was due. So you were just like, all right, I'd do another one. <laughs> and so we're really looking for something different. I really wanted to see if we could figure out some kind of real time situation. Luckily got hooked up with Guardian RFID. Since onboarding with Guardian RFID, it's been a real uh, game changer, at least from a, from a compliance standpoint and legal standpoint. With the Guardian system, it's easier when we're short staffed in order to make sure that rounds are being done because you can see physical rounds that need to be done, how much time you have for them to be done. It takes a lot of the pressure off knowing that your rounds are still getting done and you don't have to think about it. Here in Greensboro and in High Point, we have compliance monitors throughout the building in the central controls, at the officer's desk, staff dining, booking. Uh, pretty much went kind of overboard with that, but I like that, that aspect of it is it allows every officer in the building, no matter what role you're playing, to kind of know where people are at. I was probably most skeptical about the reliability of the infrastructure as far as maintaining connectivity and reporting in real time on a continual basis, but since we've had it in the building, it, it's worked flawlessly. Our transition was really, really smooth, and I think I give a lot of credit to, to the correctional experience that Greg Piper had and Chris that came out. Um, the ability to really relate to staff um, on their level, be able to talk in terms that they talk in. Being short staff is dangerous. It can be stressful at times, but having Guardian RFID is a big help. It helps you get through the day without going back and doing all the other unnecessary items as far as logging in the book. You could just hit your security around and just keep going. I'm extremely proud of the staff here of working through uh, both the, the COVID pandemic and, and just the, the overall staffing struggles that we face each day. The staff that we have working here work extremely hard to keep the compliance rate up uh, with the rounds, the security rounds. The command staff here uh, within the Sheriff's Department couldn't be more proud of them.